Hey there YouTube, uh, you know who I am. This is Resident Evil 5, uh, this is part 9. The game is coming to the conclusion, if I recall. Uh, we got a bit of an insight as to what Ouroboros was. It's some kind of global dominance uh, thing uh, tied to a series of missiles. We're not sure exactly how it works just yet, but we know Wesker is in charge of it. And we know that there's, um, the world is going to change once Wesker fires these missiles, so obviously we have to stop him. Uh, we're also come in contact with this unknown woman who was next to Wesker. As far as I can tell, she seems to be head up on Tricell, the um, pharmaceutical brand who's basically taken over from Umbrella. Um, her role seems to be either really close to the head or the head itself, I'm not sure yet. But she also seems to have a thing for Wesker as well that we sort of picked up on. Uh, she wants more than Tricell, she wants to get in on whatever Wesker's going and get into Wesker's pants in a way. We know that Jill is still under Wesker's, um, you know, control by this parasite, uh, not this by the parasite, this machine that's on her ve uh, chest. We don't know exactly what it is just yet, but we have seen it in the movie. I believe this is the first introduction to it. Anyway, we're going to get into it. We're probably going to trigger a cutscene immediately because this is a new chapter. Let's uh, begin, shall we? Code Veronica is practically set with the twins. workshop area. Take it, Roger. Up. She's got more room. Hand grenade. Take it, Part Roger. So we're still in this whole fucking area. It is driving me nuts. I don't like this whole temple scene. It has gotten very old very quickly. And looks like we need three keys to this door, I'm assuming. Investigate. Looks like there are three hot, uh, slots for three items. Okay. So obviously we have to track down the items. This is a very ty uh, typical Resident Evil sort of thing. I remember those. Impressive. They appear to be laser like beams. So those things will just sh uh, shuffle back and forth. You just have to be careful where you stand. It's just a new um, obstacle to the game, but they don't really take any major part. They are still pretty cool, I will admit. How's it going, mate? Ho ho ho! We done exploded, but I cannot use that just yet. Maybe for a large crowd, yes, but not for that. Hoping that that one of the items is here. You grab it. Okay. This is it. Yes. C L M. Okay. Oh, so this one. Okay. Moving on. Of course, that triggers more people to show up, and that triggers me to. Oh, that is a big guy. You know who deserves a big guy? The big guy. It's the big guy. Shot directly. Okay, it has to be a shot directly to these guys. Shooting them around them just is like a grenade. It just is good, but it's not enough. You have to hit them directly. Oh shit. 
I got brushed up against it. Just gotta wait for the sun beam to fire again. Oh crap. Come on! Oh. Come on! Okay. That was nuts, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in because that will save it as we put them in. So, access a checkpoint. So that does help us out quite a bit. You gotta really keep that in mind. I believe this is another. Yep. Checkpoint, sweet, we made it to a checkpoint. Hello guy. Um, hey there, hey there buddy. She got hit, damn it. Damn it, Shiva. How's it going? There's another guy there. I'm gonna try and aim for these bones. Out of damage. Just got a notification that my controller is running low on power. Come on. Okay. It would seem when they um, jump down, they're in a state of uh, disarray. You grab it. Okay. Earth Elm. All right. Take it. Okay, let's take that. Right. That was what he meant uh, in Leon, Resident Evil 4. Ada Wong was working for Wesker. She is, because she's, she, she was hired by Wesker to retrieve it. That makes more sense now. Where, um, Leon's like, uh, I don't believe what I've heard. And she's like, oh yeah, what have you heard? And he's like, well, you're working for Wesker. And then she doesn't directly say, but yeah, she was clearly working for Wesker because she retrieved it for him. Oh shit. Now to find that last one. Hmm. This means I'm thinking. That sound means I'm thinking. Is it back here? I doubt that it's back here. No, no, it's not back here. Hmm. Zoom. No, I don't have a better qual uh, better. Ex uh, better view of the map.
be around here, I'd say. Yes, this is looking quite promising. Analyze the patterns. Now's a good time to run. Shield it in here. There it is over there. I see it. I see the burning thing. Made it. She probably heal us. Nope, she didn't. Okay. Does she have any? She got first aid spray. She just hasn't used it. She's combining them too. That is not a good thing for her to do. I did not want her to do them. That's what I get for using her inventory though. So I can't really blame myself for that. But I didn't want her to combine the herbs. Assist jump. Launch. So the sniper rifle, I should have requested the sniper rifle. Sky album. Come on! Okay. Looks like they're just gonna follow her. I'm gonna go ahead and equip this. is a lot stronger than the originally anticipated. I missed that last time and it still hit him with a, um, she just managed to shoot him. That's all she did, shoot him with a standard millimeter gun and it was just enough. He was right on the edge to die. Oh crap. I'm still rocking the um, grenade launcher. I should not be rocking the grenade launcher. I should be rocking this. down there. It's a little bit further. Have to wait for that to start again. <laughs> Nearly there. Come on. Made it. Alright, so that was a bitch and a half, but we did it. We did it. She is still getting hurt. Now is that the sun coming through the top there or is that some kind of crystal? It's round. I think it might be some kind of crystal. I don't really know. By looks like it, by the looks of it, we're about to go into some kind of um, arena by the looks of these warriors on here. And I'm seeing the petals of the flowers as well. I'm even seeing it raining fire. I could translate it. So, yeah.
So they're obviously lasers. We can't touch them. That thing at the top there is some kind of beacon. Um, it's hard to say what it is, but it's some sort of crystal and it's emitting a very powerful light. And it's reaching the top dome up there to simulate a sun. Head carefully. Those beams are dangerously focused. <laughs> Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that was fucking stupid. Literally just get through the door, make one at reaction, and just fry her. <laughs> that was colossally stupid. I am. I do apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go ahead and switch that out of her inventory. Remove. We rarely use these. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and reload my. What's it called? My grenade launcher with the standard rounds. Um, move. There. Ready. So it is still Christmas, by the way. I, yeah, it's, it's actual Christmas day, the 24th of December. I've eaten a lot of food, I've opened a lot of presents, I just killed that tarantula by walking on it, fuck it. There might be a good chance we're going to see some giant spiders, but judging by that, we saw that little tarantula there, uh, which is quite big for a spider as well. And as you know that the giant spiders are a really commonly used enemy for the Resident Evil, you know, universe. So, I wouldn't be surprised if the next encounter we encounter some big ass spiders. So before I touch that bitch, I'm going to have to rectify the beam, so it's not supposed to be... So that beam is not supposed to be aimed there, it's supposed to be aimed there. By the are dangerously focused. So it looks like we just have to turn that one around, maybe? Oh, she had to wait there. All we had to do is just get her to wait there. And she wouldn't have died. Looks like it worked. Are we finished? Oh, oh I was so confident that she was going to walk straight into that. I believe there's three layer, uh, layers, you know, the that standard rule the way, of three. But I think we can knock it over. And I died. I walked into the beam and I got burned. Is it that powerful? It must be significantly more powerful than the ones we just saw because... They must be, in fact, because uh, this is directly from the source itself. This isn't diluted through a big ball thing on top of a uh, temple this is what it is this is the direct source so yes it's significantly more powerful I don't know why they're doing biological research I mean there's a huge power source just right there in front of them okay, okay. so obviously it's going to go there and there So I'm guessing I've got to aim this thing here to this one. This one will go here, move that one to here, knock that out of the way, and that will refract it to there. All right, I've got a plan. And of course, I knock that bitch over, like I just said. That little pillar was, you know, hundreds if not thousands of years old, and they destroyed a valuable piece of architecture. They should not be down here. They, no one should be down here. One down. Besides archaeologists. 
I'm just picking this game apart, of course. I mean, I do love this game. And I do love this franchise. I mean, I love the Resident Evil franchise. Uh, it does get a lot better from here, I will say. They did take a huge turn, especially even from here, which is already a huge turn. But it was good. Uh, this one game, as I said before in the first episode, this game is just meh. You don't really fall in love with it, but it is still a relatively decent game. Uh, nothing really wrong about it, it just doesn't really... You know, you don't fall in love with the game, that's really all there is to it. It was a trap. Oh shit. So obviously, don't go for the training chest, it is a trap. And that, by, by doing that though, they sort of, um... Uh, proven a theory I thought about those actual spider things themselves. I thought that they could potentially have been a bioweapon created by Umbrella. Just one of the, you know, B.O.W.s. But as it, as it turns out, it's not because this temple was designed to release them. So this is a, uh, this is a side effect of the mutation from the Ouroboros uh, flower or plant. I believe it's a flower, yes. Um, die. Die. They're protecting something. There is a guy I've been skewered. Machine gun ammo, well, that helps. A trap, what a way to go. And what one hell of a trap too. It just impaled him on every direction. And what a trap. So it's got to go here by the looks of it. I think, yes, I'd say it's got to go there. And of course this will be the final um, area. Hopefully we should have a break to get out of this. No. No, it's going to go in here. We were supposed to trigger those doors. It was something you were supposed to do. So never, not, never mind what I just said. Um, you were supposed to trigger that trap to release the thing so you could set the, um, the bugs free, uh, essentially, in here. This is going to be a bitch. Got to go around, damn it. So episode 4 right now is actually literally loading. It's 91% loaded, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty stoked about that. Once again, have to go all the way around. This is a pain in the ass, but I can't do anything about it, so, you know suck it up or just skip ahead a bit. Damn, Chris sounds out of shape. Just <laughs> are those are those treasure rooms? Are those treasure rooms? I think I just opened up the treasure rooms. That looks like another trap as well. Gold beetle. How long has this guy been burning? Some kind of altar fire's done a real number here. The guy's like embraced into the tree. Did they simply light this? I think a lantern has fallen down on it. I don't really know for sure, but. That's the thing about these games, it's like 
you know, you enter rooms and areas where no one's supposed to be in and there's like lit candles and shit like that. It's like, who lit the candles? That's what I want to know. Ho, ho, ho. Damn, look at all... Is that gold? Them gold. And them snakes. I kind of expected that, though. Yep, them snakes. Look at all that gold. Look at how I've been bitten. Damn it! Okay, and of course, the golden idol. What could go wrong here? Apparently nothing. I really honestly thought that, that would turn into like an Indiana Jones thing where um, picking up the idol caused the big pull to the fall down. I thought something would happen like that, but it turns out it didn't. So, sweet. That's this one. I'm just going to turn this bitch around. Really hope I am not trapped in here. I have a feeling I am trapped. I have a feeling that I can't survive leaving. Hmm. Yes, yes, I am definitely trapped in here. What I'll have to do, right, is quite simple. Relatively. I'll move this to a location where it's not going to hurt anyone. Oh, it can only turn around. So, this is how I'm going to fix the problem. Then it's just a matter of getting out, locating this one to an, a um, location that it can't hurt anyone. Which I'm guessing is possibly straight ahead. Oh ho ho ho! No, it's this way. And then, it's just a matter of switching this one back. And then, switching this one back. And that's how it's done. It's like, I haven't gone through this uh, area before this is just like um, you know using logic and reason to sort this out I'm gonna tread very very carefully here come on I can't right now all right we got it we we all shit bullshit I did all the work Sheva I did all the damn work. Come on. With all this wee crap. Oh, yes. This is the flowers, I believe. Plenty of plants survive in pure darkness. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. 
Umbrella. What? What was Umbrella do? I don't know. It doesn't look like anyone's been around for a while. You can be sure they wanted to keep this place a secret. Some of this equipment's got the Triso logo on it. Are they working together? So that's the end of the episode. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel. You know all this crap. Um, that was quite interesting. Um, I didn't expect to see an old umbrella relic there. It was, of course, quite old. It had rusted the shit and had stuff growing on there. Well, the tri-cell tri stuff's actually relatively new. It could be more than like a year old or so. I got a B for that one, so I'm not too bad. I'm not too, I'm not too upset with that one. It came out quite okay. So those flowers, those flowers had something to do with it. The villages, the, uh, that city was all based about these flowers. I don't know exactly what they do. We found out that those creatures that we've encountered were natural to the area. I guess in many ways they're a natural B.O.W. So, and I believe we have seen them through the Resident Evil universe as well. So, uh, I'd say that's where Umbrella got them from. So, yeah, I look forward to playing the next episode. Uh, catch you later, YouTube.